Hello. Hello, so I'm going to cover what is new in Easy Animator Pro version 1.7 in this video. So if you have, uh, you know, uh, there's going to be a separate orientation video to Easy Animator Pro at large because uh, it's gotten uh, much more sophisticated over the last couple of versions. So you can check that video out. But this video is really focused on what's new in version 1.7. So before I get into the really cool stuff, I just want to not forget the smaller stuff. So let's just take a look at that. You can see here in the text properties, I've relayed this out. It's got two columns now to make it easier to get at the fonts. You really can't access them until you've got the tool selected. And uh, you can, in terms of a specific thing, you need to actually select the text before you can change anything like the font or something. So uh, you can see that you can change the color and uh, you can enter a hex value there to create any color. There's a simple alignment tool and sizing, but of course you can also uh, basically click here on the text tool and then you know you can size it this way also. I'm holding down the shift key for constraining. So um, now over here you will see that I, we've, I've switched the positions here for remove and reset at, uh, by popular demand. Uh, the color scene uh, is now, this was actually in last the last version, but now with the MP4 and I think GIF as well, I haven't tested that yet, but MP4 for sure, uh, if you change the color of the background, it's going to export that background color with the MP4. So, um, and that's also a high requested feature. But the real power features are going to be, besides bugs and whatnot, also by the way, some some small bugs were fixed as well. Um, but the real uh, power feature here is break apart. So you can see here I've got a single text image and of course before we had split apart and we could uh, split it according to the words. And now it looks, it looks like I've got an extra space here. Uh, but you, so I could, I could break this apart according to words but now I can also break it apart according to, let's go ahead and click on that again. And you can see here I can break it apart to letters, words, and lines. I'll go ahead and do lines and there we go. So See here that and now I've got a bunch of different layers instead of only two. I, I failed to point out that there was only two originally, but now there's a, a unique layer for each one. And um, notice that the bounding box is around just that, you know, that text box or that those group of text. But also for the images, this is extremely cool. I can click on an image. You can see here it's down at the bottom. And if I break apart, I can break it apart also. Now the way the break apart works for images is that if it's grouped, if there are groups, it'll break it apart to the groups first. And then if I want to, I can break it apart even you know further. So for example, in this one, I have the little dollar sign, kind of all the little coins, but you know, there's, it's actually constructed of different shapes, like the, the, coin, the dollar symbol and then the, the circle for the coin and that little orange outline that goes around there and so forth. So uh, you can break it apart according to those if you want as well. But one thing I want to do want to note is you want to probably try to keep your layers to 20, 25 at most. Uh, just because it gets a little bit unwieldy and, and, and the, the program will start to slow down if you've got too many layers. And it really is just also something that's a little bit more tedious for you to keep track of. Uh, but, you know, at, what I can now do is I can select everything, go to a preset and uh, apply a preset. And you can see that I've applied animation across everything. It's extremely easy to do. Now, if I wanted to just kind of fine tune this, just to quickly point out, you know, it's very easy for me to come back over here to go to the animations tab and I can change, you know, the, the, the basically if I want it to be none or not. I mean, so, uh, you know, this is the sort of thing I would do just to make the text more legible. But you can see here that I can make professional videos uh, very, very quickly. This is uh, some of these features are really unique, particularly the image break apart to uh, as far as I know, I can't think of another program that does that kind of a click of a button with SVG images. Uh, so there you go, guys. This is a, a super powerful, and I hope to see a lot of cool videos and uh, GIF animations uh, from y'all in making it now with the version 1.7.